Hi friends, welcome to Anand Science Academy. In this video, let's discuss some diagram based questions from the chapter How do organisms reproduce? Question number one What does the diagram given below correctly illustrate? Give reason in support of your answer. Observe the diagram carefully and just recollect. What are all the points related to this diagram? By looking at this diagram, you can just say this diagram shows the binary fission in amoeba. It's a kind of asexual reproduction. One cell divides into two. And first the nuclear division occurs and then the cytoplasm also divides as a result, two daughter cells are produced. Okay. Now, what answer can be given to this question? Let's see. The expected answer to this question is binary fission in amoeba. The splitting of two cells during division in amoeba can take place in any plane as it does not have any particular shape and of course you can add few more points also one cell is dividing into two and it's a kind of asexual reproduction question number two label any four parts here the ls of flower is given and many parts are marked here but the question says that you can label any four parts in such questions it's better to mark all the possible parts so in this diagram the number one is stigma number two is anther number three is the style number four is the filament number five is petal number six is ovary and number seven is sepal question number three draw a labeled diagram of regeneration in planaria budding in hydra Two diagrams you are supposed to draw. Here is the answer for regeneration in planaria. First you can show the entire organism and how the organism is getting uh, cut into pieces and how each piece develops or grows the remaining part of the body. In the book there are no labelings. But a student is expected to label whatever is possible even though it's not given in the reader. Like this it can show the regeneration in planaria. Here is budding in hydra. First you can show the parent hydra and how a small bud starts growing and how it develops. And how the daughter hydra grows fully. Here you can also label the tentacles and basal disc also. And you can show the detached daughter hydra also. Question number 4. Study the diagram given below. Observe the diagram carefully. There are three questions related to this diagram. First one, identify the process. Second, which organism uses the above method of reproduction? Third one, how is the above method 
different from the process of fragmentation answer to each question separately let's see the answer now first question identify the process it is binary fission the organism which uses the method and the organism which is shown in the question is amoeba the third question how this binary fission is different from fragmentation binary fission occurs in unicellular organisms only in fragmentation the body of a simple multicellular organism breaks down into many fragments or pieces all cells undergo division and the organism develops from each fragment this is how the binary fission and fragmentation are different from each other question number 5 a part of the male reproductive system is shown below study the diagram and answer the questions that follow observe the diagram carefully and also study carefully the labelings shown in the diagram and then read the questions here are three questions question a two parts have been incorrectly labeled identify them question b give the function of urethra question c which hormone is released by testis Let's see the answers now. Here is the answer. The two parts that are incorrectly labeled here are testis and penis. The penis is marked testis and the testis is marked penis. So these two are incorrectly marked parts. Second question, the function of urethra Urethra is the common passage for both sperms and urine. Question 3 The hormone secreted and released by the testis is testosterone. Question number 6 Here is another question related to human male reproductive system. in the diagram of human male reproductive system given below observe the diagram carefully here also we have three questions question a label the parts a and b question b name the hormone produced by the organ x What is the role of this hormone in human male? Question C. Mention the name of substances that are transported by tubes C and D. Shall we discuss the answers? The part labeled A is seminal vesicle. and the part labeled b is prostate gland the hormone secreted by the organ x this organ is testis the hormone secreted by the testis is testosterone the role of this hormone in human male here is another question it controls gamete formation or sperm formation you can write and it also regulates the secondary sexual characteristics in males 
the next question substances transported by tubes c and d c is vas deferens it transports sperms and the d is the urethra which is a common passage for both semen and urine here is question number 7 observe the diagram this diagram shows the germination of pollen grain on stigma four questions are here first question name the part marked a in the diagram second question how does a reaches part b third one state the importance of part c fourth question what happens to the part marked d after fertilization is over the part marked a in the diagram is pollen grain the pollen grain reaches the part b part b is the stigma pollen grains reach stigma by the process of pollination part c is pollen tube what is the importance of this pollen tube pollen tube carries male gametes to the female gamete which is placed in the ovule the part d is the ovule after fertilization the ovules become seeds let's see the answers once again answer for question number 1 is pollen grain question number 2 pollination question number 3 pollen tube carries male gametes to the ovule in the ovary question number 4 ovule turns into seeds question number 8 identify the organisms in figure a b c and d four figures are given here you can observe them carefully here is another question identify the life process commonly shown in all the figures third question is how is this life process advantageous to the organisms mention any two advantages hope you are clear with the questions let's see the answers the organisms which are shown in these figures are a hydra b rhizopus or bread mold c is bryophyllum and d is planaria the life process commonly shown in all these figures is asexual mode of reproduction next question advantages of asexual mode of reproduction for this kind of reproduction only one individual is required the progeny is identical like parents this is another advantage and the organisms are produced in large number at a time this is also another advantage 
hope this video is helpful for your preparation. I'll meet you again with another set of questions in the next video.